What's going on guys? Just woke up, sitting on the uh, deck in front of my room here. Show you the view. Hopefully you can see it. That's uh, Ocean Grove behind me where I'm living at the moment. But um, I thought I would get up and make a little video this morning. I've been wanting to talk about this subject for quite a while because it's come up for a long time, whether it was me learning a language or teaching other people um, English. And it's can I learn a language as well as a child, okay? Can I learn as well as a baby? Because I see, I see a lot of people always say, it's easy for children to learn languages. Um, I'm, you know, 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old. How am I ever gonna learn a foreign language? Um, I'm, my brain doesn't work that way anymore. And I feel like a lot of this is just self-sabotage. And I don't think it's really true. I don't think it's reflected in reality. And I guess I, I'm just gonna ad lib just going to make it up as I go along um, off the top of my head but I guess firstly you forget that when a child is born they take you know five six maybe seven years before you can have any kind of coherent conversation with them so five six seven years for you to just be able to talk about um, what your favorite animal is what did you do today? Those kinds of mundane and simple conversations. And that's not to say anything against, you know, children learning languages. It's their first language. Of course, that's how it's going to be. It's going to take years and years and years. And you also forget that it takes them, what, 15 hours a day? 15 hours a day of listening, of, you know, years of goo goo gaga, just making sounds, making it up, um, a year of just saying individual words, you know, this, that food, cold, need drink. And then, you know, after that, so it's taken years just for them to learn these words and the sounds in their mouth. How long does it take for them to string a coherent sentence together, you know, with complicated grammar that um, describes feelings or talks about the future or talks about the past? It takes a long time for them to learn this and we forget this. Whereas you could start a new language tomorrow and probably be ahead of where a lot of these children are with respect to the complexity of their conversation skills within a year, right? Six months maybe to a year, depending on the language and depending on how hard you work. And that's probably putting in way less time than these kids. These kids, all they do as they're growing up, all they do is listen, try speaking, they're trying to interact for years every hour of every day for years is what they're working on this and that's all they do they don't have a job they don't have to pay bills they don't have to worry about life they just literally sit at home or they go to school or they go to kindy to kindergarten and all they're doing every single day all hours of the day is practicing their language skills and yet i think the average person if you were to pick up a language tomorrow you could surpass that within a year easily easily so that is why I guess I wanted to talk about this. You guys, you should sort of, I guess, understand the capabilities that you have as um, foreign language learners and that you can learn languages to an advanced level compared to children, I think, way, way, way more rapidly. The second sort of thing to talk about there is because also, you already have a software system onto which or over which you can layer the new language. So you've got a reference point, your first language and then the second language. So you can already form all of these ideas, you know what you want to say, it's just a matter of passing that, you know, taking it from one language and passing it into another language. So that's as well why I think it's a lot, uh, it's not, it's, it's comparing oranges with apples when you compare children and um, adults, but yeah. I guess that's about it. That's about all I wanted to say. Don't be disheartened. Don't be disenchanted. Um, you can you can out learn children when it comes to language learning. It's just a matter of how much time you put in um, and your goals. Your goals. I think too, people worry too much about being grammatically correct. Here's another point to talk about quickly. Children will, I think, from what I've read, children will refuse to use vocab or grammar that they're uncertain about. So they don't go out there making, actively trying to make 
a lot of mistakes. They're going to wait until they fully understand the rules of a language, um, the vocab and what it means before they start implementing it. Whereas this is different from how adults would learn and how I would encourage English um, as a second language learner to practice their English. It is to go out and make as many mistakes as possible because this this is going to really give you an advantage. It's a lot harder if you turn this into a passive process where you're only going to be using the language you fully understand and not practicing it until that point, which is, I would imagine, how children do it more often than not. They're not going to start playing around with future tenses and past tenses in the playground. They're going to wait until they fully understood it in their development before they start actively using it in their vocabulary in their day-to-day -day language. Whereas you can go out there right now and start practicing and mastering some of these way, way, way more complicated aspects of a language and conquering it really, really quickly. Anyway, so I guess they're just my thoughts so far. I'll probably flesh this out and try and talk about it a bit more in the future because this is sort of somewhat incoherent. I didn't really have a structure or anything, but tell me what you believe down in the comments. Let me know in a comment. Do you think that you have an advantage as an adult learning a language, a second language? Or do you think that, no, Pete, you're wrong and children can definitely learn languages easier and quicker than adults. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this episode and I'll see you soon.